Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A little walk this morning, a place I've never really explored before, and it's quite local. I'm having a walk along a bit of the Hogsmill River, uh, which starts in Yule, which I've done videos from before. Actually, it's my most viewed video is actually the uh, video I did from Yule about three years ago, which I'll link below. So I'm not gonna go into the history of Yule. But yeah, let's have a little walk along the Hogsmill River. Here's where it starts, sorry about the traffic. This chalk spring at Yule, this is the source of the hog's mill. And it flows about seven um, miles, is it six, six, seven kilometers maybe? Uh, up to Kingston and then into the River Thames. So we'll have a little walk along. And then uh, lunch, Sunday lunch in the Spring Tavern, just over the road. So we're leaving the spring source and turning left down here. So I've never ever explored this before, so uh, should be interesting. There's a few little uh, nuggets I hopefully I can show you. Oh, the Yule Trail. I've never heard of this before. Interesting. Might be worth doing another time. So we're just going to go here, go over the bridge, and uh, yeah. It's interesting, these are old, an old mill, they're now flat, but this used to be an old mill. Yeah. Um, I think it's this way now, yeah. Or is it that way? Like the River Wandle, there were many mills along here. Um, and there were 12 gunpowder mills. Gunpowder mills were founded by the Evelyn family when I went to Chilworth Mills uh, last year. I'll link that video below because that's quite interesting. Um, yeah, 12 mills along here and 12, sorry, 12 gunpowder mills. Hmm. I don't think I've got the right shoes on. It's a little bit muddy where it was raining the other day. But spring is in the air, it's getting quite mild now. As soon as it hits 17, 18 degrees, I'm in shorts. I don't like wearing long trousers or jeans. Well, I don't mind jeans, but I don't like wearing long pants, as they say in America. Um, so the jeans will be out for the summer and autumn. This is interesting, we've got some remains of the old mills here. Some, some of the uh, walls, bricks. Some just over here. I think they were in their prime in the 1700s and 1800s. Um, like the River Wandle, very heavy industry. bridge under the road which is very muddy as you can see all dark yep I definitely got the wrong um, shoes on Oh well, if I had my walking boots on I'm still going to be slipping and sliding in the mud so Now I wish I hadn't bought my coat, it's getting really warm 13-14 degrees and when you're walking and trying not to slip over in mud you get very hot I nearly had to abandon the walk, I thought oh, this is going to be ridiculous, but um, it's evened out a little bit now, so it's still a bit muddy, but not so bad. I should have walked, bought my walking boots, but they're in the back of the car, what can you do?
the painter William Holden Hunt painted a very famous picture here, the Hireling Shepherd, because the river uh, Hogsmill has been an inspiration for uh, artists over the years, a very famous one indeed, which I don't know if we're going to get to today, but we'll see. said that William the Conqueror watered his horse along the uh, River Hogsmill. How much of that it is folklore, but not particularly interesting folklore. His uh, horse had a drink. I, mean, I didn't think I'd need a map. It's a walking trail map from the uh, local council, but you do. Because you need to cross bridges, maybe not cross bridges, fork left, fork right, that kind of thing. Um, you know, you might have thought, well, let's go over this bridge because the river's here, but it's not. It leads into an estate up there. Um, I think I'm going to go up to the road and then take it from there whether we go any further. And I might complete it from the Kingston end another time because I want to go to Kingston. I've actually done no videos from Kingston and there's a lot of history there. A lot of history. Yes, yeah, so we're going to walk up to Ruxley Road and make a decision. Nice little avenue of weeping willows. Oh, getting hot. So we're heading more toward Kingston. So I've gone a little bit further than I thought, actually. It's fine. Oh. Quick stop before we head back. A bit of water. Yeah, a lot of people out. It's a Sunday morning today, by the way. Sunday the 12th, is it, I think, um, of March. Uh, yeah, Sunday the 12th of March. Soon be in spring. I remember this time last year, I walked to the bit of the Pilgrim's Way up near Caterham and Chaldon, and it was... I was in a T-shirt, but the weather is getting nicer, so, yeah. Right, onwards and upwards. One of my favourite sounds is birdsong. Birdsong in spring. Absolutely lovely. Okay, here's where we're going to stop the walk. Royal Borough of Kingston. We're in Kingston now. Um, we walked about three, three miles probably. I wanted to show you the famous spot where um, Ophelia, the, the famous Ophelia painting was uh, painted, but we'll do that next time. So we're going to head back for a Sunday pub lunch and uh, try and cool off, it's really hot.
Oh, lovely Sunday lunch in the spring at Tavern. Really nice, really nice indeed. Great service, great food. I might leave a review if they've asked. So I hope you enjoyed the little visit to uh, the Hogsmill River. I will do part two from the A3 to uh, Kingston. I think that'd be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care.